Hello YouTube, welcome by new computer vlog. And in this computer vlog, we are gonna check out another system from the dumpster. Let's see what we have. We have a very nice white uh, MIDI tower. And I think this system stayed out of the sun because it's not yellow but still just white. On the front we have a Pentium 3 sticker, the power button, the reset switch, power and hard drive LEDs, a floppy drive, an LDCD writer and a Samsung drive here. But the headphone jack and the volume control is missing. Here we have the power supply. And this motherboard doesn't really look like a Pentium 3 motherboard because it looks more like a newer generation, like a Pentium 4. Uh, here we have the video card with VDA and DVI and a USB bracket and no other expansion cards. And here we find some strange cable uh, mounted with zip ties. So let's open the case and check what's inside. Here on the bottom of the case we find a big bag of silica gel for no reason, but do not eat. Here we have a PC speaker, the hard drive is missing and they uh, pulled it out on a gentle way because no damage on the cables. The cable between the floppy drive and the motherboard is missing and here on the drives there are also screws missing. We have a Kikabyte GA7VT600 motherboard. And I see a lot of bad capacitors. They have leaked and swollen and I think this motherboard is a bit dead. But we will see when we start it up. We have a simple HP card with a passive cooler. And the motherboard comes with three memory modules. So we gonna see later how much they are. And the motherboard comes with a Fiat chipset. And it doesn't look like a Pentium 3 anymore, so I think they upgraded this system. The strange cable on the back is connected with the CPU fan and the motherboard. So I think they had some kind of uh, speed controller for the fan here. So I'm gonna plug the fan now directly in the motherboard without this cable. The power supply is an FSP 235 Watt. I think this is the original power supply when it was a Pentium 3 and they uh, upgraded to a newer system. So let's check out what kind of CPU we have now. Here on the motherboard we can read socket A, so it's an AMD CPU. And the video card is an R92 Lite Edition 128 MB. So it's a very simple ATI video card. The CPU is an AMD Athlon XP 2600 plus and the clock speed is 2083 megahertz. The upper CD drive is uh, disconnected in this system. So I think they had some issues with it and just unplugged the not working parts. Let's check out how much memory the system has. Here we have a 512 megabyte DDR400 module. So that's really nice. Another 512 megabytes DDR module. And here we have another 512 megabyte DDR module, but this is clocked on 333 instead of 400. Before we can check if the system still uh, boots with all the broken caps, we need to monitor. I just picked up this Iyama Fisher Master Pro 451 for 5 euros on a charity flea market. This is a really nice CRT monitor and the screen is completely flat. So let's try out the monitor and the system. Uh oh, I think something exploded. And there's a strange smell, so I think one of the caps exploded. But I don't see which one. Let's try it again. Let's part out this system because it's pretty broken. <laughs> I'm gonna use the 286 to try out the monitor. Nice, the monitor is still working. 
So the 5 euros is spent well. Let's start the time lapse. <laughs> So here we have the pile of parts and some things are broken. I had to brute force the motherboard out of the case because some of the screws were stuck in the chassis. But they already brute forced in the motherboard when building because this uh, back plate is totally bent. This is why I always clean my uh, systems because this power supply is full of dust. But after this computer has blown up I don't gonna trust this power supply or test out with other hardware so I just gonna scrap it because it's not worth if the power supply also breaks other parts if it was the power supply that's caused the problem. Here we have the Kikabyte motherboard and almost all the capacitors are damaged and it has nice purple memory uh, banks, a green HP slot, a green IDE controller, a bash uh, CPU socket and a blue PCB. So I think a unicorn farted on this motherboard in the Kikabyte factory. We have network on board with a Realtek chip and also audio on board and I think this Realtek chip is a sound chip. It's not worth to repair this motherboard so I also gonna scrap it. I gonna keep the CPU and it came with this Spire CPU cooler with a nice uh, copper bottom plate. Also I gonna keep the memory because it's always good to find 512 megabyte sticks. The video card is nice and simple and uh, good for testing out uh, hardware. So I gonna keep it. The system came with this nice USB bracket. The Samsung drive is a CD writer slash DVD drive. But with a missing headphone plug and uh, audio control I just gonna scrap it but it's not worth keeping. It also came with this nice LG CD writer and it's not yellowed it's nice and white so I gonna keep it. I really like this case so I gonna keep it. It has a nice decent build quality, 3 5 and a quarter inch drives, 2 3 and a half inch external drive base, 1 internal 3 and a half inch drive bay. And here in the front and in the back we can install extra cooling. I really like the style and how clean the front panel is. So this is a nice case to keep for a simple uh, single drive gaming system. So here you have it, the parted out dumpster system, too bad the motherboard blew itself up because the motherboard CPU combination is really good for a 2003 gaming system. But we found a very nice case and uh, a lot of memory, so it's still a good dumpster find. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. You can join Retro Machines on Facebook and you can support me on Patreon. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.